Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. We use GPS to find restaurants, track our fitness activities, and even hail rides. The convenience of GPS is undeniable, but it also raises concerns about privacy and security. Knowing someone's GPS location can have serious implications. It's not just about knowing where someone is at a given moment. It's about understanding their patterns, routines, and potentially even their relationships. As our reliance on GPS grows, so too does the need to understand the potential vulnerabilities associated with this technology. By understanding how GPS data can be accessed and manipulated, we can better protect ourselves from potential risks. Finding someone's GPS location might sound like something out of a spy movie, but it's more attainable than you might think. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in devices or networks to gain access to GPS data. This can be done through various methods, such as man-in-the-middle attacks. In an MITM attack, a hacker intercepts communication between two parties, such as a device and a Wi-Fi network. By positioning themselves in the middle of this communication, the hacker can eavesdrop on data being transmitted, including GPS coordinates. Exploiting vulnerabilities in apps. Some apps that use GPS data may have security flaws that hackers can exploit. By taking advantage of these vulnerabilities, hackers can gain unauthorized access to GPS data stored or transmitted by the app. Social engineering. Hackers can use social engineering techniques to trick individuals into revealing their GPS location. This could involve sending phishing emails that appear to be from legitimate sources, such as a delivery company, requesting access to the user's location. It's important to note that accessing someone's GPS location without their consent is illegal and unethical in most jurisdictions. 
However, understanding the methods used by malicious actors is crucial for developing effective security measures and protecting ourselves from potential harm. Section 5 Step-by-Step -step Guide Using Kali Linux for GPS Tracking It is against the law to track someone's GPS location without their explicit permission. This section is for educational purposes only and should not be used for any illegal activities. Note. This is a simplified example and should not be taken as a complete guide to GPS tracking. Real-world scenarios are far more complex and require advanced knowledge and skills. First, set up a fake access point. Using tools like Airbase Ang and Kali Linux, you can create a fake Wi-Fi access point that mimics a legitimate one. Unsuspecting users may connect to this fake access point, allowing you to intercept their internet traffic. Next, sniff network traffic. Once a device is connected to your fake access point, you can use packet sniffing tools like Wireshark to capture data transmitted over the network. This data may include GPS coordinates if the device is using location services. Finally, analyze captured data. After capturing network traffic, you can analyze the data using Wireshark or other tools to extract GPS coordinates and other sensitive information. Remember, performing these actions without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. This example is purely for educational purposes to illustrate how GPS tracking can be achieved and the potential risks involved. Section 6. Tools of the Trade Kaylee Linux offers a variety of tools for network analysis and security auditing, some of which can be used for GPS tracking-related activities. Aircrack Eng. This suite of tools is used for assessing Wi-Fi network security. It can be used to capture network traffic, crack passwords, and perform other attacks related to Wi-Fi networks. Wireshark. This powerful network protocol analyzer allows you to capture and analyze network traffic in real time. It can be used to identify devices on a network, analyze communication protocols, and extract data such as GPS coordinates. GPRS Intercept. This tool is specifically designed for intercepting and analyzing GPRS traffic, which is used by older mobile devices for data transmission. It can be used to capture data such as SMS messages, call logs, and potentially GPS location data. These are just a few examples of the many tools available in Kali Linux that can be used for GPS tracking related activities. It's important to remember that using these tools for illegal purposes is a crime. They should only be used for ethical hacking, security research, or with explicit permission from the device owner. Section 7. Real World Implications From Search and Rescue to Espionage the ability to track GPS locations has significant implications in the real world, both positive and negative. On the one hand, it can be a valuable tool for search and rescue operations, allowing authorities to locate missing persons or track down stolen vehicles. It's also used in wildlife conservation to monitor endangered species and track their movements. However, the same technology can be used for malicious purposes. Stalkers can use GPS tracking to monitor their victims' movements while criminals can use it to target individuals or plan robberies. In some cases, GPS tracking has even been used for espionage, allowing governments or organizations to spy on individuals without their knowledge. One high-profile example of GPS tracking used for malicious purposes is the case of Anne-Marie Fall, who was stalked and murdered by her ex-boyfriend in 2005. The perpetrator used a GPS tracker hidden in Fall's car to monitor her movements, eventually leading to her tragic death. This case highlights the potential dangers of GPS tracking when used for illegal activities. It underscores the importance of strong legal frameworks and ethical guidelines to prevent the misuse of this technology. Section 8. The Legal and Ethical Landscape of GPS Tracking The legalities surrounding GPS tracking vary depending on the jurisdiction. In general, tracking someone's GPS location without their consent is illegal and considered a breach of privacy. However, there are exceptions to this rule, such as when law enforcement agencies obtain a warrant to track a suspect's location during an investigation. Ethically, GPS tracking raises concerns about consent, privacy, and the potential for misuse. It's crucial to respect individuals' right to privacy and to use GPS tracking technology responsibly and ethically. Organizations and individuals using GPS tracking technology should have clear policies in place regarding data collection, storage, and use. They should also obtain informed consent from individuals before tracking their location, unless legally authorized to do so. Furthermore, it's important to be aware of the potential for bias and discrimination when using GPS tracking data. For example, 
law enforcement agencies should ensure that their use of GPS tracking technology does not disproportionately target certain communities or individuals. Section 9. Responsible Use – The Cornerstone of Ethical Hacking Knowledge is a double-edged sword. In the right hands, the ability to track GPS locations can be used for good. Law enforcement agencies can use it to solve crimes, while rescue teams can use it to save lives. However, in the wrong hands, this technology can be used for harmful and illegal activities. The key is responsible use. As ethical hackers, it's our responsibility to use our knowledge for good. We need to understand the potential risks of GPS tracking and work to mitigate them. This includes educating others about the importance of privacy, advocating for strong legal protections, and developing secure systems that are resistant to attacks. Ethical hacking is not just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about making the digital world a safer place. By using our skills responsibly and ethically, we can help ensure that GPS technology is used for good, not for harm. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's use our knowledge wisely to make the world a better place.